we do the thing. Truly on promotion. Hey guys, welcome back. I have another video for you. I have another loaf cutting video for you all. Um, I have quite a few of these that I need to chop up, so I figured why not film it because I love seeing other people cut up their loaves. I don't know, I find it to be very, like, incredibly therapeutic, even though I'm not the one doing the cutting, but still. So I decided, why not? I have like 500 loaves. I'm going to cut all of them. I'm probably not going to fill all of them because you all probably get really fed up seeing that. Anyway get into it. First of all, if anything looks grimy, it's because I just cut up something else. I don't care if my scents mix a little bit. It's not that, like, this stuff is not going to totally change the scent of anything else, right? So, that's fine. What I'm cutting up today is birthday cake, serendipity, Melon ball, fizz, and pink sugar. Let me just open this bag and put it aside. Um, these are one pound bakery tin tie bags. They're polypropylene lined, and these are white. A lot of people like to get the craft ones. Those are the brown ones. I don't care. Um, here is my loaf again. Pretty pretty. I took the label off the bottom of it and stuck it on the bag. So I'm just gonna take this out of the tin. Um, so, I realize with every single video I make, I have a story. I think that's going to be my thing. Like, I'll be a storyteller with every video. So that one came out super easy, super clean, right? You can see through to the bottom of it. Chunks all the way through. Nothing in here. This, that's just mushiness. Forget that. Um, yeah. So... The last loaf that I cut up, I cut into 12 pieces and that, that seemed to turn out pretty well. So I'm going to do the same thing this time. I just throw in my loaf. Um, cause, you know, why not? 12 is a, oh, an okay number. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut it into four pieces this way and then three pieces that way. And that'll be that. Um, hopefully it should hold together nicely. Um, so, Let's start this story. I'm trying to get like an even cut down the middle because it'll drive me crazy otherwise. The first loaf that I ever cut up on camera was a couple weeks ago. This one kind of smushed a little bit in the middle, but that tends to happen with the first cut anyway. It seems like there was a gap right here too. Like, you see that? There's nothing attached there anyway. So maybe that's why they crumble a little bit. Sometimes the overpour doesn't get between all the chunks. I don't know. I'm just guesstimating here, guys. Yeah, the first time I cut up a loaf on camera, it was super soft, like soft and oily and like all the other loaves that I've ever had from Tiffany's. And you all saw that video. It was a mess. Okay, this one didn't work. This piece right here is like crumble-tastic. I'll deal with that afterwards. Let me just push these three kind of together out of the way. And um... Yeah, so that thing just totally, like it started off really well, the way this one started off really well, and then two, three cuts into it, the whole thing just went, nope, I'm done with you, falling apart. This thing came off and just got pretty bad. So, I decided that same day, because I had others to cut up that I wanted to film as well, but it didn't work out that way. Okay, so this chunk here, let's just take that off came out pretty good. It will fall apart a little bit because there's a little, there's a chunk right here that's looking to escape. Maybe I can push him back in. Let's put that in the bag. And I hate to get oil on the top of the bag guys, so that's why I'm like really meticulous about that. This piece, this end piece wasn't too bad, just one chunk fell out of it. Same thing over here. So. The plan seems to be working. Anyway, so I forgot where I was in my story. Yeah, so I cut up the one and it was a mess. And I had three more to do that same day. And I'd already set up like my station and stuff, had my bags ready, all of that good stuff. And I decided, well, you know, when you want to get wax out of like your warmers and stuff, you put it in the freezer for like a couple minutes. And it hardens and it just pops out. Why don't we do that? 
brilliant idea, right? Just put the whole thing. I have hiccups now, I'm sorry. Just put the whole thing into the freezer for like... Okay, this one is going to fall apart. It's not going to work, guys. This is kind of how that first video turned out. Um, this chunk is super big. The pieces are missing from it. Let's toss it in there. This one fell apart and will fall, continue to fall apart. See? Let's toss it in there. Yeah. So I put it in a thing, right? I put it in a freezer. All three of them. And they're still in like the cello bags and everything. And my plan was to leave it there for like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. And then my husband came home. And I've said before, I don't film when he's around. You know, he will just sit there and laugh at me and be like, Really? You making videos about this crap? Uh, so I left it. And then got distracted. And then we had to go out. So totally, totally forgot that it was even in the freezer. And then when we get home, like four or five hours later this is like nine o'clock in the night now i'm like oh my god my loaves okay but my second was still set up to cut them right so i decided you know what i'm going to do it anyway because it was like a sunny night i was going to be working for the next 27 hours it would have been on my mind and i'd be like oh i didn't get to cut up my loaves blah blah blah, blah, blah. so i take them out of the freezer and i decide to like just start cutting them up one time bad idea guys the first one when I tried to take the label off of it because everything was still in the bags and stuff the label just tore like the glue wouldn't come off and then the back wouldn't come off and it was a mess so I actually had to go like get a glue gun a glue gun I had to get a glue stick Am I distracted or what? I had to get a glue stick and glue it down. And then I had to take like the little circular label that's on the cello bag and put that as well. Because just in case the, the Tiffany's label itself, something was wrong with it. And then I cut up the other two. And because those were out for a little while now, while I was doing the first one, they started to like get condensation on them and stuff. And when I cut into those things, seriously, they just totally fell apart. Everything was like... I don't like you. I don't want to be by you. I don't want to touch you. No, that's touching me. I yeah. It was like crumble, 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 crumble. Everywhere, everything. The whole thing just totally fell apart. And I was like, okay. Don't ever do that again. That's not a good idea. Okay. This piece doesn't look too, too bad. And for some reason, I think the middle chunk is the, is the one that's holding together the best. Right? Lost the top of it, but that's okay. This piece, maybe if I smush it down, it might stay. Put it in the bag carefully. Ugh. Now this one broke. Can't do anything about that. Right? Here's the other end of it. Yeah. So that was that story. Um, those turned into a total mess. And then I think because they were so, like, cold and wet and stuff when I put them in the bags, I noticed a couple days later one of my bags was actually leaking like the underneath of it was wet like oily like the very bottom of it and um so I transferred that one out into something else and then I noticed that the others the other two started doing the same thing so I'll probably have to transfer those as well because I think it's because they were like cold I mean these things were like ice when I cut them up when they like started to warm up I guess whatever condensation was on them got between like the folds of the bag and started destroying it that way because even though it is polypropylene lined like straight across the bottom of the bag where the seals are they line like up to the edges so it looks like they line the bags before they actually form the bags that makes sense to anybody so when they fold them up and stuff like the seal doesn't go all the way across like the entire bottom of it 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 stops you know let me show you okay so you see how this bag is folded like this all of this is lined but they don't put like a full sheet of polypropylene across the entire bottom after they fold it right that's what i meant so that was that one 
that was that story. Let me fold this over and get it out of the way. This is what this bag looks like. Not too bad. Um, I can always pull the chunks out and then take the crumbles out afterwards. So, yeah, that was that. That was that video. That was that story. I'm just going to close this up. So I have it to enjoy later. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, please rate, comment, subscribe if y'all want to be like, your stories suck. You need to stop talking. That's fine. That is your opinion. You're totally entitled to it. Um, I'm not going to hold it against you. If you want to be like, your stories rule. We love you. Please keep doing crap and telling us about it. Great. I'll do that too. Um, yeah, so that's it guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.